Hello again, this is VSOP coming back at you with another bourbon review. Now I'm going to tell you a little story first. Now the first video I put on YouTube here started its life out as a goof, alright, that I sent to one of my cousins lives down in Florida, alright. Now that was for the uh, old forest to 1910. All right. Now, if you watch that video, you see that my my accent's a little uh, exaggerated, to say the least. All right. I was just doing it for fun. All right. I didn't know how it was going to turn out. Right. And I was really surprised at how it turned out. I was really comfortable doing it. I thought that it was going to take me like, you know, 20 takes to get it right. You know, to start over and, you know, screw up, start over again. But that didn't happen. I got it all done in one take. And I was really surprised. And I was also surprised at how much I enjoyed doing it. All right. So I kept on going. All right. And here we are today. Now, what I thought I'd do is uh, make amends to that old force to 1910 and do a proper review. All right. So let me bring on over my bottle. I just got done the, taking the plastic off. All right. So I'm going to pop the cork and uh, we're going to try it. All right. So let's do that. Ooh, that sounds good. All right. Bring on over my El Dorado rum glass. There it is. Okay, let's pour a little bit in. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, that looks good. All right. Now, let's swirl it around. Swirl it around. I really like that dark color. That's what caught me first when I first tried this. I saw that color. I'm like, mmm, that's interesting. All right, now let's sniff it. Mm, it smells so good. I got to be honest with you. The Old Forester 1910 is one of my favorite bourbons, if not my favorite bourbon of all time. You know, if I got a hold of some really rare bottle out there, I might change my mind. But this one, this one's really good. And what I like most about it is it's affordable. It's between 55 and 60 bucks and it's on the shelf. It ain't allocated. Ain't none of that nonsense. It's on the shelf along with the rest of the Whiskey Rose series. All right. And that's really cool. And I really appreciate that uh, coming from Old Forester, man. And they're really, you know, batting pretty good with that one. Anyway, let's taste. Hmm. That is so good. I've always liked the, uh, what you call them, double oaked, twice barreled, uh, whatever. All right, that's what this is. This this bourbon has been twice barreled. So it's the same as a double oak and all that other stuff. And man, does it bring out some flavor. It really does. All kinds of flavor. Mm. You just taste so much. I mean... You got the you got the barrel in there, the char, the barrel, which really coming through along with sweetness and the caramel and the vanilla and the fruit tones. Oh, it's so good. I really, really like this bourbon, to tell you the truth. And another interesting thing about it is that uh, this particular bourbon put me on the path I am on right now regarding whiskey. To me, it used to be about the bottle. You know, like it is with a whole lot of people. The bottle is more important than what's in the bottle, all right? And I came to realize that what's in the bottle is more important than the bottle, all right? So it can be it can be a real hard bottle to get. And there's a lot of them I've had in the past, but they don't stand up to this. They don't stand up to 1910 at all, all right? So it's not about the bottle. It's about what's in the bottle. And what's in this bottle is damn good. All right, I'm gonna drink some more. Mmm. Oh, it's got such a nice flavor. Such a nice flavor. I could sit here all day pulling different things out of it and telling you, oh, it tastes like this, tastes like that. But it is just so. I would I would say it's complex. You know, you could really find a lot of stuff going on in here, and it's so rich, rich in flavor. And that's what I really like about it. I really, really like. And all the other double oaks and twice barrel uh, whiskeys that I've tried, I've also liked. So, you know, for my palate, it really works. Mmm, that is so good. Mmm. So good. I mean, you could even say like butterscotch and toffee and all that stuff's coming through. Mmm. 
man that's so good i really like it i hope it stays the way that it is all right on the shelf and readily available if it becomes allocated I don't know what I'm going to do. I might give up on whiskey altogether if that happens. Day Drew. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that's good. So, I hope I did the old Forster 1910 justice. All right. It is, I would, I'm comfortable in saying it is my favorite bourbon. All right. So, if you like the twice barrel, double oak kind of barrel, uh, bourbons, this is going to be right up your alley. If you've never had this before, you've got to try it, all right? If you feel like dropping that kind of money, like I said, between 55 60 bucks, if you don't mind dropping that, it's well worth it, I'm telling you. If you like that type of bourbon, that type of whiskey. Anyway, if you do happen to grab it, I hope you love it. I really do, all right? And drink responsibly, okay? Bye.